in on 300 again. An important drive here. Really doesn't have to deviate from the offensive game plan all that much. There's lots of time here. Only his second 300 yard game. His first was in week two. Martel Mallet. Good first down run across the 40. You know, and this is such an important game. When you take a look at the West Division, it really is up for grabs. Richie Hall said, you know, it's a five-game race because when you look at the teams or the games remaining for the Western teams, they play each other. And Calgary plays Saskatchewan, Edmonton, BC. And that's Saskatchewan again. I mean, you could see Edmonton there has Calgary and BC to finish the season. They, all, they play each other, so to finish first or last. And a win here gives the Lions the tiebreaker. They take two of three against Edmonton. That pass is incomplete. Greg Hetherington turned, and the ball was by him. And suddenly, the momentum is with the Edmonton Eskimos. Yes, it is. And, and Greg Hetherington is in his first game. He's gonna he's gonna run the out here, and he's just got to be ready for this. He's having a bit of a a bit of a nightmare in game one for him. That's his third attempt in his direction. Two, he should have caught. And that's one of them, and that would have moved the chains. Four minutes into the fourth quarter. Christian Jackson awaits. down to the 31 and Jackson swarm there you're a check one of the first downfield Edmonton Eskimo football we each pay 399 for three different value combos he shoots he scores we each had our choice of entree and sides don't call a plumber because he drains it and your junior hamburger deluxe is made with fresh never frozen beef five Four, I'm three, into two. curling. Only Wendy's offers $3.99 value combos, each with your choice of side and a drink. It's way delicious. It's Wendy's. When it comes to home improvements, we tend to put things off. The Home Renovation Tax Credit gives us a good reason to get started now on those improvements we've been thinking about. It means we could save up to $1,350 on home improvements purchased before February 2010. We just have to remember to keep our receipts for when we file our taxes. This envelope is really handy. Putting our tax dollars back into our home. That works for us. Canada's Economic Action Plan. Get started now at actionplan.gc.ca. A message from the Government of Canada. Nighthawk Platinum Lights give you up to 90% more light, so you'll notice things a little better than you did before. Nighthawk Platinum Lights, only at Canadian Tire. It's Friday night, it's Gladiator Night, and time to say hello to True Team Canada. Meet Sergeant Major Master Warrant Officer Richard Stacy from Lord Strathcona's Royal Canadians. That's C Squadron, CFB Edmonton, working with Afghan National Army Forces back in early August here. It's an armored regiment offered support on a mission to secure a village in the western region of Kandahar province. So, special hello to Sergeant Major, Master Warrant Officer Richard Stacy, And all the folks at CFB Edmonton, our key Whitlock with the carry and brought down by Anton McKenzie. Gain of four for Whitlock. Well, the Eskimos have uh, have at least shown some resilience tonight. Well, you know, Chris, the way Edmonton has double teamed G. Roy Simon, he's starting to take them him away in the second half defensively. The BC Lions defensively now have to start to think about that with Fred Stamps because he's been the guy that's really racking up the yards. 26% on second down conversions last week, and they won't convert here as Jeremy Gibbs gets to the quarterback, and Gibbs has his second sack of the season. 
So the man replacing Aaron Hunt gets home. Boy, and that's a big one because Stamps is wide open. There is Jeremy Gibbs right there, and he is going to work his way from right to left and come underneath here to get Ricky Bray, but a wide open Fred Stamps was over the middle for a first down. If Ricky Ray had an extra second, and he didn't. So the defenses dig in, back to back. Two and outs. Kristen George drops another. And then his drop for a loss. Was he down? Apparently not. And makes forward progress to the 35-yard line. CFL on TSN continues tomorrow night as the Argonauts travel to Regina to take on the Saskatchewan Rough Riders. Kerry Joseph will start in his old stopping grounds. Live coverage begins tomorrow night at 9 Eastern, 6 Pacific. Yeah, I like that decision. I mean, Kerry Joseph back in sort of familiar territory. It's a real important game for Toronto if they want any. Okay, guys, this is what it's all about. We're playing for the Grey Cup. Up for grabs, two VIP trips for two to the big game in Calgary, all expenses paid. You see these 10 brands here? They call them expert choice, okay? The game plan, an all-out blitz on Rona stores to buy them. And I mean buy them, because every purchase is a chance to win. Now let's rush into those Rona stores. Let's go get them. Rona, doing it right. Gibson's finest Canadian whiskey is searching for the CFL's finest band. Hit tsn.ca slash Gibson's and enter for a chance to win the ultimate trip to Grey Cup 2009 in Calgary. Gibson's finest. Your whiskey, your way. No purchase necessary. Must be legal drinking aid. He's looking deep down the middle. The ball's in the air. That ball has wings. What a move. He's in the clear. Touchdown! Gibson's finest Canadian whiskey. A great catch every time. Gibson's finest. Your whiskey, your way. Enterprise. Hi, I'm at the repair shop. I need to rent a car. Enterprise will arrange to pick you up. This is great. Drive you to our place and get you on your way. Pick Enterprise. We'll pick you up. We should go to Sally's Halloween party dressed up as a couple. You think of something, man. Those are awesome costumes. Thanks, man. Totally my idea. Tim Horton's always fresh coffee and donuts, like the pumpkin spice donut. Together now just $1.99. Always a great value. Wendy CFL on TSN Friday Night Football is brought to you in part by Wendy's Baconator, the official hamburger of the Canadian Football League. And by Rona, proud sponsor of the CFL. Rona, doing it right since 1939. Just a 30-yard punt by Paul McCallum, 15 on the return. The Eskimos with a first down at the 47. Blitz gets to Ricky Ray. And he is dropped by Corey Banks. He's put together a real good football game. Corey Banks comes on the blitz this time, and they time it up real well. Banks, number 24, is going to come along with his teammate and linebacker, Juwan Armour, and they're just going to time it up. Armour in between center, and he's going to take up a block there. Jeremy Gibbs takes up the guard block, and Corey Banks is the free man. Reminiscent of the final minute last week in Calgary when Hamilton got sacked out of field goal range. Now second and 19 for the Eskimos. Draw Whitlock. And Arkey Whitlock into the secondary. Down to the 38. And he's going to be a couple of yards short. Yeah. Boy, that really surprised the BC defense. And they were a little slow to react and get lined up well. There was a real natural hole. And this has got to be scouting from Edmonton as this game go has gone on. And you can see the natural hole by alignment right there. And that's exactly where Arky Whitlock hits. Surprised him a little bit, but I think they are a little bit short now. What does Richie Hall do? Well, they're, they're a yard to a yard and a half short. The offense stays out. They are 44-yard field goal away from getting within three, but they're not interested. They're... Looking for a first down, Matthew Bertrand has got it to the 35. Oh, good pad level for Matthew Bertrand. Just hit that hole and keep his pad level low. Watch his angle of attack as he hits the line of scrimmage there.
Big fullbacks, 243 pounds, and made it with some room to spare. Nice low angle attack here for Bertrand. He's got that low angle right here, and that he makes that first down. First down at the 35, another blitz, and this time it's oh, McKenzie boy. that gets to the quarterback. You know, and you want to say Ricky Ray's got to throw this football away and avoid the loss, but it seems to be happening so quick. Anton McKenzie, this time he gets his turn as he lines up right into the line of scrimmage and really doesn't disguise anything. He's coming straight through from there, lines up on the line, ends up blitzing, he's unblocked, and Ricky Ray really doesn't even have time to throw it away. Fourth sack of the game for the Lions, fifth of the year for Anton McKenzie, and BC now has 41 on the season. <laughs> and it's second and 19 again. Maurice Mann hits screen. Back to the original line of scrimmage, and he's forced out there. And now they will be looking at a field goal attempt. Well, they did get a little bit closer, so it's a little bit closer attempt for Noel Prefontaine, and it's just too far to gamble with 10 yards to go here, and lots of time left on the clock. I was actually a little surprised that Richie L didn't even try a field goal in the first one, but he had confidence in his own line and in Matthew Bertrand. Now he'll lean on Noel Prefontaine here. Prefontaine looking for three to get within three from 42 yards out and again Moss has been the holder since late in the first half and Prefontaine does bring it in he has that fade in the golf course too because he's pretty adept with the club in his hand 